So we're going to do a bunch of speed round talks here. We're going to have the uh, Practice Fusion folks talk a little bit about our experience over the last nine months or so. Uh, we pretty much rewrote a full uh, application using uh, the latest in Ember technology. And so we're going to have them provide some, uh, some feedback and context on uh, how we got through that process. All right, hello. So my name is Javier Vega, and this is my colleague, Nick Breen. And our presentation is going to be a brief introduction about practice fusion and UI engineering, and the topic of optimizing a large team for rapid feature development in a number application. In our specific case, we're a team of about 100 engineers, and 16 of us are UI engineers. So first, what do we do at practice fusion? Practice Fusion is an application that is used by doctors and medical professionals to run their practices. So basically, this is how they take patient information, do blood results, labs, things like that. We have over 100,000 medical professionals on our platform and over 80 million patient records. We, at Practice Fusion, we have an agile sprint, and we basically uh, have a sprint cadence of about two weeks of delivery delivering features. That's right. So when we mean we have optimized our team for rapid feature development, we mean is that we work really hard to create an organization in which we can have te uh, teams that can be spin, spin up really quickly, and we can target specific features that we want to get out very quickly to our customers. And that these sometimes can be very challenging, especially in a uh, company like ours, because we have so many regulations in the in industry that we are, and we have such a, a strict QA process. Uh, as Nick said, we try to shoot for two weeks sprints, and we try to release week at least. I mean, release at least one once every two weeks, and sometimes every week. So, what's our team look like? Each team is built around a specific feature or set of features that they're building. The team has a lot of different people on it. We have a, a PM, a backend engineer, an Ember UI frontend engineer, a designer, a tester. And we can build up the teams, bigger or smaller, just, just basically based on how many people are needed for that feature. Each feature team deals with a specific feature in the application, as the name suggests. So we have a team for onboarding new doctors under the practice or ordering lab results for patients. So we have these feature teams spread through the, throughout, the app, throughout the team and the company. And we actually also have a functional team. So we have a UI functional team, which combines all the UI engineers on each team, where we basically collaborate together and move Ember forward in our company. Yes. So to mention a little bit of the tools that we use in every team, we use Jira for our project management and issue tracking. We use Gitflow as our branch management system. And we use Stash and Jenkins to provide continuous inter integration. Um, so every team here is, ha is responsible for guiding the development of features and bugs and from the process of development all the way to, to uh, production. We have several different environments in which we test these features. And, um, and we well, I think that summarizes it. <laughs> So what, how, what, what's, our, what's our app look like, Javier? Oh, that, that's right. So I want to briefly go over a little bit of what our UI architecture looks like. At the bottom, we have, of course, a RESTful API that provides all the data services. Then our data access layer is a combination of an Ember, uh, Ember data adapter and custom uh, jQuery Ajax request. On top of that is Ember and a few of the technologies that we use to, to bring together uh, the app are a combination of required JS modules and um, ES6 as well. We have a bootstrap, we have additional libraries like web trends, and we use Grant for building, building everything. And we're in the process of moving to Ember CLI. This is just to give you a little bit of uh, an overview of the complexity of our app at the UI and how we, can, how we have the structured teams to deal with this complexity. 
We've talked about what we do and how we do it, so let's dive into some problems and common challenges that we have. We're going to talk about three big ones. First one, how do we collaborate? How do we reuse code and styles? Second, how do we manage code and file complexity within this large app? And third, how do we coordinate global changes across that whole UI team? Let's dive in, Javier. Yes. So one of the teams that we have um, created is called the UI Foundations team. And this team is in charge of dealing with everything that has to do with shared code and shared uh, styles. This team has actually come up with what we call the Tyrion UI, which is a component library that we use and is used by every team. So uh, the, what's interesting about this, uh, this development model for for the UI foundations is that we follow the open source style in which we have one particular curator of content, but every developer in these teams can contribute to this um, UI library. And a fun fact about the name, why is it called Tyrion? Here at Practice Fusion, we love to have fun. It's one of our core tenants. And we all love Game of Thrones. And we decided to name it after the core character Tyrion because Tyrion, like our component library, wields a lot of power behind the scenes. And it's just a really fun way to go to work and commit stuff to Tyrion. And Tyrion is still alive, believe it or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's talk about complexity. <laughs> we have two things that we manage. Uh, we, so in order to manage complexity in our application, we use a custom resolver. We've written one ourselves. And it, it serves two purposes. One being allowing us to stitch together all of our different feature domains into one large Ember app to ship that to production. And the second function of this uh, custom resolver is allowing us to slowly move from our required JS import system into an Ember CLI friendly ES6 import export. So that's essentially how we manage complexity. And one of the biggest lessons we learned about our huge code base is don't map business structure to your code structure. For example, like a lot, we, we originally mapped a lot of our code to the feature teams that were developing it. And those teams change and the features move. But in the end, it's the best to match the code structure to the actual feature structure. And that's what we're doing moving forward. That's right. So another challenge that we faced was keeping up with Ember upgrades. And uh, the best way to boot this out is with this picture. So at, here at Practice Fusion, we, uh, we're moving really fast, right? We're developing a lot of features, and we have a lot of pressure to release bugs, features, and fix bugs. So planning upgrades for us has been very challenging. And the way we have addressed this is that every time that we decide that we want to um, apply a particular upgrade, one of our team members goes and has, uh, does a study, a little analysis of what would be the impact of applying this upgrade uh, given, given a little bit of the scope of how much code change would be needed by each team. And then since we work in different teams that address particular features, every team assigns a little bit of work to apply to do all the changes required to do the upgrades. So we've talked about some problems. Let's talk about the future. The future is really, really friendly with Ember. Ember 2.0, the upgrades we're coming on, that we have something called Glimmer, which is going to just increase all of the, uh, the speed of our application. We're so excited. And we're moving everything to Ember CLI. With Ember CLI, you get Ember add-ons. And there's a really great resource called emberaddons.com, which is just amazing for kind of categorizing the plethora of additions you can add to your app. So here at Practice Vision, we're really happy about the future. Miguel's actually going to give a talk a little later on about how we actually keep up and continue moving forward in our app, getting to the future, and also still doing this rapid feature development. And we're basically just excited for the future. Feature is great. So we just wanted to cover a, um, a little bit of the challenges that we have faced here at Practice Fusion. In the following ta talks, David Anderson is going to give you a more in-depth talk about the Tyrion UI, which it was actually Claire, one of our members that's sitting there, the one that started that. Yeah, plus Claire. And uh, Miguel is going to talk about the upgrade. And then um, Matt is going to talk about a page builder, really cool, that we have built here. We don't have time for questions, but uh, we're going to be hanging out uh, around after the lightning talks are, and you can just reach out to us and, and, and if you have any questions. Feel free to follow us on Twitter and to follow Practice Fusion as well. And a final note, uh, here at Practice Fusion, we have 16 Ember developers. We've been developing this app for two years. We push code weekly, and we work on a product that wins our industry's highest awards. We'd be happy to have you join our team. We're hiring.